In this tutorial, I will show you how you can completely customize the typography of your BuddyBoss app by adding custom fonts so that the app can match your own unique branding style. We have other tutorials showing you how to customize the images and app icons, and also how to create your own unique color scheme. In this video, we will be focusing on your app's typography. Okay, let's jump into the WordPress admin so I can show you how it works. Here we are in the WordPress admin at BuddyBoss app branding typography. We can click this button to import fonts from Google. And if I click here on installed fonts, we can see all the fonts we've installed from Google, which are available to assign to these different sections. By default, you will just see system default installed. And then here we have five sections that are describing various parts of the app that can get fonts assigned to them. And then in this right column, we can see what the fonts will look like on an actual device. This is a representative preview for both iPhone and Android. The first section is body text. This is the text you'll see in most areas of the app. Most content is using body text, including blog posts and learn dash content. If I go into navigation bar titles, these are the navigation bars you see at the top of most pages within the app. We can move to headings. These are the kinds of headings you would see in Gutenberg blocks and various other parts of the app. And then we have our tab bar. The tab bar is this navigation menu at the bottom of the app. And note that I have another tutorial all about how to set up the tab bar. So make sure to watch that for more info. And then we can open up menus. And this is a representative preview of different types of menus you might see in the app. You'll see these menus on the more screen, on profiles and groups, and a lot of other places. System default means we are going to be using the font that is assigned on your user's device. So on iOS, the system default is a font called San Francisco, which you're seeing demoed here. On Android, the default system font for stock Android is called Roboto, which is this font here. But in reality, if you are using system default, you cannot actually predict what font will be used on Android phones. Different Android device vendors will pre-install their own default fonts. And additionally, users are able to set their own system font within the Android settings. So if you're not very particular about your typography preferences, it's always safe to just stick with system default. This is what we're using in our public app demos, and it looks great. When you use the system default, the app will just fit in on the user's device with the same font that the user is seeing in most of their other apps. However, if you want a more customized branding experience, then you may prefer to add your own custom fonts. So let's go ahead and import some fonts. First, I'll click on this button to import Google font. This is pulling in fonts through the Google API. Note that if you have not yet added your Google fonts API key, you will see a warning here asking you to configure this. You can do that by heading over to BuddyBoss app integrations and clicking on Google fonts. And then you would enter your key here. We have another tutorial showing you how to get this key. So please make sure to watch that video as well. Once connected to Google fonts, we can come back to our font importer and select a font. So I'll just select this one, Able. And so you can see through the API, we're pulling in a preview of what this font looks like in the regular style. You'll see this notice. This font does not support regular italic, medium, medium italic, bold, or bold italic. You will be unable to view these styles in your app if you use this font. So that means that this font only comes with one style, regular. So anywhere in your app that has bold or italic or medium or italic will not be able to render that text in those font styles. They'll all just be rendered in regular and look like this. So I would not recommend importing this font. You'll be a lot better off if you can find fonts that have all of the styles. That way all your text will have correct formatting throughout the app. If you're only going to use this font in the navigation bar or the tab bar, then it doesn't really matter. But if it's going to be used within any of the other areas, then you really want to have all the different font styles. And note that all these fonts in this list are coming from Google Fonts. So I can go to fonts.google.com and I can look at fonts here as well. This might be an easier place to go find the fonts you want. And then you could come back here and import them. So I have a font I like called Zilla Slab. If I click here, we can see the previews of the different styles. So I'll come back here and I'll use that font. And you can see we're showing you the previews as well. Our previews are for these six styles. These are the styles found within the app. And I'll go ahead and click on import. And just like that, it's been imported into the system and it's now available for use. So if I wanted to, I could assign this body text area to Zilla Slab. And now all of the body text is getting this font in both iPhone and Android. But you'll notice that the font is rendering a little bit small. If I switch it back to system default, 
you'll see that Zilla Slab is just a bit smaller. Different fonts are designed to display in slightly different sizes. So you may find when you import a font that it's a little bit too small or a little bit too big. And that's why we include this font scale. So I can go here and scale this up. Now it's closer in size to the system default. If you have an older audience, you might be tempted to scale this up really big. I would recommend not doing this. A lot of people use their accessibility settings on their own device to scale the fonts up or down. And if they scale their fonts up, it's going to scale them in addition to this. So I'd recommend just doing what you think looks nice. I'm gonna leave this at 115, just slightly bigger than system default. I think it looks nice with the serif style font. And I'll click on save changes. And now let's import one more font. There's a font I like called Rubik. I think it's easy to read and it has all six of our styles. So I'll go ahead and import it. Now it's available to be used as well. I think two fonts is enough. So let's try Rubik here in the body text area. And that looks really nice. I'll scale it up a little bit. I think that looks nice. The reason we're not having you assign specific sizes for individual elements within the app is because the app has a lot of different types of text with different sizing, and it all has to fit nicely within this very limited space of a phone. We've already taken care to set the correct font sizes throughout the app so that everything fits nicely within this very restricted size. But if you want text in the app to just be a bit bigger or smaller, you can always scale up the specific fonts used within the app. Okay, let's go ahead and assign our fonts into all the areas. For body text, I'll keep Rubik. For the navigation bar, I'm going to use Zilla Slab. If we go into headings, I'll stick with Rubik for this one. And then for the tab bar, I'll set this one to Zilla Slab as well. And for menus, I'll set this one to Zilla Slab. So the style I'm going for right now is that all the navigation related elements are going to have Zilla Slab and the content type elements I'll sign as Rubik. Okay, let's go check out our app so we can see how our custom typography looks in a real device. First, let's hard quit the app. And we can see that our Zilla slab font is being used in the navigation bar and in the tab bar, and it looks awesome. The body font and headings are all using Rubik, and the font scaling is working beautifully. All of the text has been scaled up just slightly. And we can see that the font weights are all being applied correctly with bold and regular styles. Let's check out our members directory. Again, we can see that our navigation is using Zilla slab and the body fonts are using Rubik. Here we can see the Rubik font being applied to most of the content, but with our Zilla slab font being used in this menu area, which looks pretty cool. Let's go check out documents. And we can see the fonts are being applied to our files and folders. And the fonts are working in our document pop-up. And the fonts are being applied within modals as well. Lastly, let's go check out our more screen. And here we can see the Zilla slab font is being applied to all of the menus. And this is looking so nice. These custom fonts are really giving this app its own personality. Before I finish, I want to show you one more thing to help illustrate how font scaling works. Let's head to my phone's accessibility settings. In the settings app, I can go into accessibility, display and text size, and then larger text. Let's scale up all text sizes on my phone. Okay, let's go check out our app. And we can see that everything looks huge now. As I mentioned before, people with poor eyesight often increase their device's text size. And this change is going to scale everything up in addition to the font scaling you already implemented. So make sure to use font scaling just for design purposes. Okay, let's set things back to normal. As you can see, we've taken a lot of care to make it very easy for you to import fonts and customize the typography experience in your app to give your app a unique and branded experience. And we cannot wait to see how you customize the fonts in your own BuddyBoss app.